Hey guys, and welcome to a new devlog for Virtual Warfighter. In this devlog we're going to talk about terminal ballistics. And as you probably know, uh, we are aiming at having the most true-to-life ballistics in the industry, uh, up, to the, up to this date. And a big part of that is to have true-to-life uh, terminal ballistics. And what is terminal ballistics, you ask? Well, it's the study of the behavior and effects of a projectile when it hits uh, and transfer its energy to a bar barrier. Uh, and the only way to make this remotely close to the real life, uh, you need to collect a lot of data points and aggregate all this data into an engine that you can uh, query and uh, get a result and then affect the velocity for the projectile after it exits the barrier. For something like uh, soft tissue, muscle tissue, etc., you can use uh, ballistics gel. Uh, there are a lot of resources on the internet. Uh, also, you have wound profiles that you can look at to see how, how bullets affect uh, or how, how, how far they travel in ballistics gel, etc. But there are a lot of other kind of barriers that's a lot harder to uh, find the data points for. Uh, one of those is, for example, concrete. Uh, and as you saw here in the beginning of the video, we have a pretty cool slow-mo video. I want to start by thanking Matt from the Buffman Range YouTube channel. Uh, first for letting us use this uh, concrete slow-mo footage, but also we have been able to extract a lot of data points from various videos of, of him. So uh, thank you for that. Super helpful. So, right, we know the 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 start velocity or the initial velocity uh, here before the first barrier uh, we know that the, the projectile loses about 15% of its initial velocity after the first barrier it starts to tumble and when it exits the the second barrier here we know that it lost 85% of its initial velocity uh, and knowing this we can actually start to to uh, create some some good data points for example here after the first barrier we know that we have lost 15 percent of our velocity so that we can enter into our curves uh, and then next time we enter the second barrier this would not work because now uh, it we will lose 15 percent again we only lose like about 70 we, we keep 70 percent of the initial velocity when we should keep about 15 percent of the of the initial velocity so this model only works for the first barrier but knowing that the the exit velocity of the second barrier we can create a tumbling data point also uh, so we know how much the bullet is tumbling when it exits the first barrier and using this data we can combine these two graphs into to a final velocity for the second barrier and now we have a very true to life uh, velocity when we exit uh, this kind of barrier so what's left now is only to validate the result For performance reasons, we only simulate the barrier penetration in one frame, which looks kind of strange in slow-mo. But as you can see, once the both projectiles have exited the second barrier, they match up. Uh, and this means that our terminal ballistics is uh, pretty accurate to real life. Thank you for listening.